other thing that I like to do is I like to use tape to kind of preempt any place I think they might rub. So places they're likely to rub or anywhere that something, two straps intersect like this, um, and even sometimes where the strap intersects with the muzzle. And you don't have to do this, but I like to be a little preemptive. And then if your horse has a little bit bigger face um, or bigger muzzle, you may consider covering the uh, holes by the chin with some tape and that will prevent rubbing on their chin if you think their chin is coming into contact with it as they chew. So I have to do this for one of my guys. And then this is another spot that I like to tape over. Um, and then the other thing, since I have this plain halter that doesn't have the center ring here, I like to tape this as well. It prevents rubbing, but it also keeps it from sliding back and forth and twisting around. And I'll do that with this back one as well. And then I also just like to preemptively tape over this buckle that goes around his nose band because my guys wear them 24 seven. So anything they have on that long is really likely to cause at least a little rubbing. So I kind of like to be a little proactive about that. So I'm going to show you how I do that. This is my favorite tape to use. They're not a sponsor, but it seems to be the smoothest and last the longest. Electrical tape is another really good option. So the first thing that I'm going to do to prevent rubbing is I'm gonna make sure that this is centered and I'm just going to tape this center strap on my nose band. And I do it just like that. Now, there's kind of a line here, so I'm gonna actually do another piece and come around the other direction. And not only does that help prevent rubbing, but it also keeps that nose um, strap from sliding back and forth. So you see I can wrap this around here and then I can usually tear just a little bit Tear that and flatten it down. And this tape usually holds pretty well. You can also run a couple strips around this direction to help flatten it, but that gets it pretty secure and that's pretty good. He doesn't typically rub here, so I'm gonna leave this part alone. But what I am gonna do is come to this back buckle and I'm gonna tuck my tail in here and I'm gonna tape over this whole intersection right here because that on him just tends to rub a little bit I'm not gonna tape the, tape the chin holes on this one because he's usually fine with that I have another horse that I have to do that for but he's usually fine but this is where I like to tape so I'm just gonna cover that whole thing and then fold it down. Press it on there really good. And then you can either cut away or just kind of mold. This tape tears pretty nicely, so you can usually get it to tear a little bit so you can mold it around where you want it to go. And what that does you can see is it just creates a nice smooth surface here. All right, so there's that. And then the other thing that I want to do is I want to make sure I find the middle and I'm going to tape this as well to keep this from sliding back and forth. Again, since I don't have the Gigi style halter with this muzzle, I'm going to do that. If you do have the GG style halter, you should have a flat ring here to attach this to and that, then you don't have to worry about this part. So, let's see. I'm gonna do that. And again, I like this tape tears really easily. So I can kind of tear and wrap it the way I need to. Again, that just smooths that whole thing out. And I don't 
feel like I got a great seal on that. So what I'm gonna do is run another piece around just to reinforce that and make sure it stays really well. And if you find that a part of your halter muzzle combination is rubbing your horse, my best tip is um, to notice what part is touching where the rub is, both when they're standing up and not grazing and then when they are grazing. And then if that's a place that you can kind of tape over or apply relief to, um, go ahead and try that. And if not, or if you want a tip, take a picture of the halter muzzle combo on your horse and send it to support at gg-equine.com. And we can see if there's, it might be a really easy fix, like something I'm doing here or something that we've seen before and know how to work around, or it might just be an adjustment thing. So feel free to reach out because we want to help make this the most comfortable muzzle your horse has ever um, gotten to wear. So yeah, so that's how I'm going to go ahead and tape it for now. Some people like to add tape around here. I usually do, but with both these keepers, I feel okay that these are pretty secure and not really going to get caught on a whole lot. And usually the sides don't rub um, very often, unless your horse has a really wide uh, muzzle, it should, it shouldn't rub. So anyway, that's, um, that's my preemptive taping suggestions.